Again, endoscopic ultrasound, EUS-guided cholidocoduodenostomy, is considered an advanced technique of interventional endoscopy for internal drainage of bile in patients with malignant jaundice and where endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, is impossible to perform. In a patient with jaundice following palliative gastroenterostomy due to an irresectable tumor in the head of the pancreas with duodenal stenosis, transabdominal ultrasound reveals dilated intrahepatic branches of the biliary system and common bile duct. The papilla is not detectable with an endoscope in the tumor lesion. Endosonography from the duodenal bulb shows the dilated common bile duct with intraluminal echo-rich sludge. Note the neighboring hepatic artery and portal vein. The fundamental issue for planning the EUS-guided cholidocoduodenostomy is first searching for the safest site for an interventional approach to access the biliary system. The transduodenal puncture of the common bile duct through the peritoneal cavity is performed with a 19-gauge needle. Using contrast media, control fluoroscopy confirms the dilated bile ducts and absent bile drainage through the papilla into the duodenum. Under EUS and fluoroscopy guidance, a 0.035-inch guide wire is inserted through the needle into a bile duct. The guide wire should be introduced as far as possible into the intrahepatic branches of the biliary system. Over the guide wire, a high-frequency ring knife is pushed forward up to the duodenal wall. Under changing EUS and fluoroscopy control, the motion of the ring knife during high-frequency cauterization is followed carefully. This maneuver should be done two or three times depending on the distance and the resistance of the intermediate tissue. When the ring knife, without cauterization, reaches the bile duct without any problems, or spontaneous bile drainage out of the puncture of the duodenal site is seen, the next procedural step can be done. The stent delivery system, armed with a fully covered metal stent, is pushed over the guide wire. The delivery starts if the stent is positioned near the bifurcation of the biliary system. Here you see the endoscopic control during stent delivery. The favorable position of the intraduodenal part of the stent should be nearly 1.5 to 2 cm within the duodenal cavity. The sequences show that the intraduodenal stent part is directed through the pylorus into the gastric cavity. Further control fluoroscopy shows the correct stent position. In addition, effusion of contrast media into the stomach can be seen. On the first post-interventional day, stent position is controlled using transdominal ultrasound. The intrahepatic bile ducts show normal caliber with aerobilia. The stent itself crosses the duodenum and pylorus and the distal end can be seen within the stomach. The intervention was performed with peri-interventional prophylaxis using the antibiotic ceftriaxone.